Hey there, party people. Dandolph coming back at you for another episode of Minecraft Let's Play. Today we're going to do some interior decoration of our house, and we're going to move, uh, do a little bit of cleanup around our town, and then we're going to work on getting ourselves some villagers. Today's the day, people. We're getting mending. Let's get to it. All right, everyone. So we are going to start today's episode by doing some interior decoration. So let's go ahead and... Uh, do our torch trick and get a rug down in here. Beautiful, torchy, 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 torchy. Beautiful, looking good. And let's do some yellow carpet in the middle and some white trim. Yeah, I think that's looking really good. All right, that's a good start. Cool. So how about a crafting bench in the corner? And what about some smithing tables? And let's start making ourselves a little kitchen area. Slap down, uh, how about a furnace? Always got to have a furnace in the kitchen. And what else we got? Cauldron. Yep, let's do a cauldron. We'll put some water in there. And uh, we'll get a tripwire hook and make it look like a little faucet. Yeah, let's get that tripwire hook and slap it down right here. Yeah, that's looking really good. All right, so this is looking really cool. Let's get a flower pot here and throw a nice little red flower in. I think that'll make some nice contrast. And it'll go with the... Uh, you know, the red on the smithing tables. Now let's go upstairs, uh, see what we can do up here. We definitely want to get some storage going. Uh, this will be our personal storage. Uh, you know, our personal stash that's not really the server share here. Uh, definitely want to put down a little seating area here in the kitchen. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, center post table with uh, a plate on it. Yeah, definitely put that item frame there and a steak on there. That looks pretty good. Tasty, tasty. How about a uh, painting? Nope, way too big, way, way too big. Let's try it up here. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I like that. And let's do a uh, single painting over the window here. And let's see which one we like. Not that one, not that one. Come on, not that one. <laughs> uh, that one was okay, that one's okay. How about that one, that one's pretty good, I like that. Let's take these stairs down. And what else can we do? What else can we do? It's looking pretty good in here. Uh, how about a plant? Let's throw some uh, light under here. A couple trap doors for the planter. And there we go. That's pretty nice. Uh, how about a couple plants by the front door? Beautiful, beautiful. And how about a little bit of extra light here? I love it. And how about uh, some trim over the windows? Oh, goodness. Trap door. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Let's close these up. Let's do this on all the windows in the house. I think that'll add a little bit of uh, interest here. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Love it. Right here in the kitchen and over the table as well. Nice. Cool. I think it looks really good. Let's go ahead and move upstairs. Got to have myself king size bed. Beautiful. Let's move this crafting bench over here. Uh, let's put another one on the other side. Um, and gotta have to make it though. There we go. All right. All right. Uh, let's do something about the lighting in here. Actually, let's put some trim around the bed real quick. And then, uh, and then let's look at the lighting. Uh, definitely gonna have to do something about these torches on the floor. Uh, this is my bedroom. Can't be having no torches on the floor. Uh, how about lantern over the bed? Um, let's get these torches out of here, see what we're working with. It's not too bad, not too bad. Got some natural light from the windows that helps. Um, we're going to have to make a few more lanterns. And there we go. How about one here, one here, and one up here? Yeah, I think that works pretty well. And let's add some carpet around the trim here. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer, make it, helps it stand out. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, how about a third crafting bench here to cap it off? And then bushy, bushy, bushy with some leaves. And what else we want? Uh, how about another plant in the corner here? I think the green really helps uh, add some life and some color into the room. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these two and cover it with slabs. Add a little bit more headroom. I think that helps a lot. 
And we're gonna go ahead and remove this one and put some iron bars for some structure in the ceiling. I think that's gonna look really nice. There we go. And let's go ahead and put our trap door back here and put the lantern back on top. That is a, uh, you know, definitely need that light source at night. All right, I think it's looking pretty good up here. Let's go back downstairs, and I think it looks pretty good down here too. I think, uh, think we're about set in the house. So let's go outside back of the barn, and we are going to start putting in a huge wheat field. Uh, you always need wheat. You always need to uh, breed cows and sheep and just have wheat for trading, I guess. Though we're going to work with some villagers later, so I guess that would be useful to have too. But also, it's going to look really nice. So what we've done is we've covered our water sources here with trap doors. I'm putting in some seeds. And, uh, oh, hello, Enderman. Go ahead and get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Three, four, four. How many times do I have to hit you, Enderman? Goodness, glitched out. I, I, I'm lagging. I can't get him. Ow. Anyways, back to farming, 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 farming. More water, more farming. Trap door. All right, so I think it's time we finally move all these banners. They're just kind of in the middle of uh, in the middle of the path here. It's time they go. Let me go ahead and pick these up. We said we were going to do some cleaning up around town, so let's go ahead and start that. Yep, picked up all these, and I think a perfect place for them is uh, about three blocks away, right here on the front of this build here. Hopefully, Kurtley doesn't mind too much, <laughs> but I think it'll look pretty cool. All right, perfect. Looking good. And moving on. So we are going to also set up an automatic chicken cooker ficator thing over here. So these are pretty easy to set up. We're going to put a hopper here. We're going to have all put a dispenser that faces directly uh, into the, like into the block above that hopper that has a slab on it. We're going to go ahead and change that slab to something non-burnable because we're going to put lava on top of that slab. We're going to go ahead and make a little square around the back here that's going to make our uh, comparator clock. And then that's pretty much it. You put some chickens on top of the hopper that's on top of the dispenser. They make eggs. The dispenser shoots them out into a block. When the babies grow up, they uh, burn their head in lava. It's a very simple machine, uh, but it's very effective. Um, so yeah, we've got that all set up. Let me just uh, spam some eggs in here, make some chickens, and then when they grow up, they'll all make eggs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so we did our mob farm. We can take that off the list. We did that last episode. Um, we need leather farm now. That uh, Our food farm is not going to produce leather, uh, but we can go ahead and get rid of food farm here. Perfect. We are done with that. And let's move on to our next task, actually. Uh, but here, you can take a look at how big our wheat farm is right now. I might make it a little bit bigger, uh, but let's go ahead and continue working on this barn. It definitely needs a little bit of a facelift on the side here. So what we're gonna do is flatten out the ground, and then we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna start making a uh, pen for our cows and our sheep, because they're currently in the middle of town, and uh, that's not the most attractive thing uh, for our town here. And uh, uh, we wanted to do a little bit of cleanup today, so I think this is really gonna help that situation as well. So let's go ahead and build up five here. We wanna do a center post as well, so let's put it here, and go ahead and build that one up as well. And then we're going to do some fences in here because, of course, it's a pen. You have to have some fences. Leave a gap in the middle for these uh, fence gates and go ahead and slap those down. And go ahead and do the other side as well. All right. Going to go ahead and separate these two as well. Perfect. And go ahead and put some support beams. And we're going to go ahead and do one across the front. Cool. And... Yeah, this will be really nice. We're going to go ahead and make this, uh, you know, decorate this up pretty good. Uh, but I think this dark oak is going to be a really nice contrast to the current build that we have because it's fairly light and the dark oak is a nice dark color. And uh, I think that contrast is really going to help it uh, stand out and look really nice. So there we go. We've got our pillar in place. Looking good. Get rid of this guy. All right. Slap a lantern here for now. And let's go ahead and start working on our roof line. I think I wanted to do like a, a shallow arch. Uh, so it's going to drop down a little bit on both sides and, uh, you know, kind of pick up a little bit in the middle. 
But I think this is about it. We're going to go one, one slab higher, and I think that's the whole arch of our roof. Uh, so let me go ahead and fill all that in. We're going to put these last bit of trapdoors in, and we're going to hop up on the top because we got to get rid of these half slabs uh, to really finish things off here. All right, perfect. Get rid of these and get rid of them on the other side. And this is our whole roof. Everything is done here. Uh, so I think that shape is going to really look pretty nice. Yeah, here's the look from a distance. It's looking pretty good. All right, so let's move on to the next step of this. Uh, I think we need to get out some hay bales for decoration and go ahead and start making this place look a little bit more uh, more sheep penny and more cow penny and, you know, a little bit more dirty and a little bit more uh, worn in and, you know, just uh, a little bit more fit for purpose. So we're throwing down these uh, hay bales because, you know, they're food source. You know, but it's real nice and convenient to have them right there. We're going to dig out the floor a little bit and... Uh, we want to put in some black variation. I'm going to put in a little bit of water here so I can till this ground. That'll look pretty good. Um, let's throw down some podzol and some coarse dirt and some regular dirt and get a really nice variation of blocks going on here. So it looks like everything's kind of trampled and it's been, you know, it's not just like sitting there doing nothing. You know, it's not just regular grass. It's, you know, th this, this land is, you know, worked harder. It's been, you know, been beat up a little bit more. Let's throw a few more barrels around here too, because barrels always make things look a little bit more, uh, you know, outdoorsy, I guess. Uh, we're going to throw a barrel here as well, and then we're going to throw a few on the other side. It'll be really nice to have these barrels here as well, because we're going to have to have some storage for all this wheat, and this will be a nice place to keep the wheat and the seeds and everything, because we can just use them to feed the animals right here. Okay, I think everything's looking pretty good. Let's throw a few lanterns on here for a little bit of extra light. Help keep things a little bit uh, a little bit mob-proof. I don't know if it actually is or not at night, but, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. Uh, how about a composter here, again, for just more block variation, and it's, you know, kind of suited for the area. We're going to need it for seeds. So let's throw a couple uh, a couple leaves around. I always use the oak leaves, uh, but I think they're really going to make, make this build pop a little bit. Yeah, that looks really nice. With the overgrowth, it again, it's another indicator that this thing might have been here for a while. Is you know, it's had enough time for the plants to grow, so it's definitely been here, I guess, right? I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and move these cows in. Get it? Move. We're moving them. Anyways, come on, cows, let's go. Into the pen you go. Perfect. Good job, cows. Sheep, your turn. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this fence because uh, we're going to remove all this anyways. Come on, sheepies. Your turn. Let's go. And into the pen you go. Good sheepies. Good sheepies. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy this fence. Because it is no longer needed. So now what we're going to do is we're heading out the back of our town. And we're going to run over to the village that we found a couple episodes ago. So uh, about a thousand blocks later and I will see you there. Alright, so here it is, and all of our villagers should hopefully be alive because we trapped them inside houses. Um, but here we go. Here's the guy that we're looking for. We're going to go into this house first because uh, I think it'll be easy to kind of trap him in. And hey, villager. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> we're going to lay down a bed in here. Come on, villager. You want to come back inside? What if I put a bed? There's a bed. Do you want to come to this bed? No, no, he doesn't. Or she. I don't know. But here, bed. Villager, bed. Yes? No? Yes? No? Okay. What if I destroy your workstation and give you a lectern instead? And then you give me mending. You're going to come give me mending? Hey, come give me mending. There he is. Okay, so carpet... And block, block, and let's block off this door as well. You're trapped. Um, did you give me mending? Bad villager. That's a bad villager. Let's try again. This time, you give me mending. No. Bad villager. I'm going to keep doing this. Anyways, so 
we are also going to work on getting a bunch of farms in this area because we're going to have to have a source for emeralds and an easy way to do that is to have some farms. Uh, they're going to be manual for now, but this area is just temporary. So we're just going to build up a whole bunch of temporary farms. But we also have this house over here that has two villagers in it and we can use them for breeding and we won't have to move villagers because I hate moving villagers and I'm going to try and avoid that at, at as much as possible <laughs> basically at any cost um, so I'm gonna put a carpet down and then I need to put a couple blocks above the door uh, there and let's do one more down beautiful you guys are now trapped and let me fill this hole in the side of the house and I can remove this dirt cool you guys are now trapped and you're going to make lots of babies for me uh, let me go ahead and put a composter down you can be a farmer and you're getting carrots but i want wheat because i took all your hay bales but let me go ahead and pick up all the crops that you have here replant these and go ahead and get these farms going as well that'll be a nice uh head start uh we're definitely going to need to do a lot of trading to get a lot of emeralds to make uh, a bunch of mending books happen all right carrots go down and potatoes can go down on the other side perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to expand this villager house a little bit. Like we said, they're going to make a lot of babies, so we're going to have to have some space. This will get expanded again, most likely, but uh, this is what we have the materials for right now, and I want to go ahead and get started, and it doesn't take much effort to expand these. It doesn't have to be pretty. Again, this is a temporary setup. I will have a villager set up over in our town, uh, but this is just to get us started here in the start of our world. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and block off the roof as well. Awesome and let's go ahead and get rid of these walls now that you guys are trapped in. There you go, have a nice uh, little bit more space here, guys. Let's go ahead and run around, and let me get more beds, more beds, more beds, where's my yellow bed? There we go, now we have three, and you guys should theoretically be able to breed, ha have some bread, have some more bread, make it a baby, make baby, no make baby, baby, okay. Uh, back to the villager, and let's go. Give me mending. You. Mending? Mending. Okay, I need 24 paper. Uh, be right back. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Paper. What a deal. Awesome. Okay, mending is locked in. Sweet. I'm going to do some grinding. See you in a second. Okay, guys. So I've been doing some grinding. Uh, wait. Where, where did my lectern go? Did you see that? It just... My, my lectern. Anyways, um, <laughs> okay. So uh, this guy has power one, uh, and this guy has mending for cheaper than the other guy, so that's awesome. We've got mending. And let me show you around. I've been doing some grinding. As you can see, there's a lot more villagers in here. They've been making babies while I've been grinding. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and turn all of those into better book trades. You can see all of this sugar cane I've been grinding like crazy, uh, letting it grow and trading it for emeralds. And I've got a bunch of pumpkins going now too. I will probably expand this pumpkin farm because these are pretty, pretty useful. And then over here I've got uh, wheat and the beetroots and the carrots and the potatoes and more wheat. And uh iron golems keep popping up everywhere so i've been getting pretty adept at just running up to them and p p pillaring up four blocks and smacking them with my axe until they die and picking up their iron so it's been a fairly easy source for a little bit of extra iron as well which has been really nice yeah there we go all right and then i just chop my pillar down like it never happened a little bit of free iron and move on All right, so we're going to go ahead and run back into the house, but I think that is uh, about what we've got for the day. I'm going to go take a nap with all the villagers, guys. All right, party people, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We made a lot of progress getting those villagers and uh, tidying up our town a little bit. Like I said before, we're going to make a lot of progress here coming up. I have a lot of really big ideas and really great inspiration for this world. There is a lot coming. Don't worry. And we will definitely be making some really big, really cool things coming up really soon. See you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Dandolph. Have a good one, party people.